Well, folks, we're back on my favorite lake in the world, Grenada Lake. We are here at the home of the three pound crappie. And folks, I've got a special guest in the boat, Jojo Baker, and we are going to put it on. That's right, folks, we're gonna take off on Grenada Lake with Jojo Baker. He reached out to me, he said, man, if you're ever in the area, stop on by. And folks, we had a blast, you're about to see some serious toads go in the boat. So stick with me, please subscribe. Folks, this is this is my favorite lake. This is it, Grenada Lake. This is the home of the three pound fish. I mean, this is it, let's do this. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. What's up, folks? We are back and we are on my favorite lake in the world. If you follow Three Pound Fishing, you know that's Grenada Lake. Check it out. Folks, it doesn't get much better than this. Totally stoked about being here. I'm gonna put some big fish in the boat and I've got super guy, Jojo Baker. We're gonna talk a lot about his guide service today, but introduce you to him later here in the episode. And uh, yeah, we're on Grenada, folks. We're gonna put big fish in the boat. Let's do it. So Jojo was telling me that he's uh he's from a nearby is it is it a town Calhoun or yep. is that a count okay yep. town which is on on actually Grenada Lake and he's been fishing the lake all his life yeah so I'm with an expert yeah 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 you, you know the lake I love it yep. you, he definitely flew across the lake like he knew it sure. <laughs> yeah yeah there's some stones out here in the shallow water you don't want to hit I know but don't you ever worry, I mean with the raising water up and down don't you worry that I mean one is just perfectly there yeah was well, usually um a lot of the stumps and trees here like in the river channels and creek channels so as long as you stay out of those you're pretty good um it's, it's a little deeper now so we're looking at 15 foot right now and um most of the stuff if there is any stumps i mean you just got to get lucky and hit them you know what i mean but um most of like i said most of the stumps are in the creeks and rivers so so when people come to Grenada, or when they're thinking about coming to Grenada, they get really nervous about running around because of what they hear and what, yep. they, and what they see pictures. Yep, yep. And a lot of times, um, a lot of people come in the springtime, you know, when that's the best time to crappie fish. And um, so the water is real low in Grenada. You know, you go in spots where it's just ankle deep and you will never know it. And, um, but that's, you know, usually whenever people go to messing up their stuff. Yeah. Whenever. I always recommend your first time at Grenada, get a guy. Yeah, oh, definitely. That is definitely. like 100%. That gives yep. you kind of lay the land, makes you feel comfortable the next time if you choose to bring your own. That's right. Because yesterday was four foot down. Oh, really? And everything else was, uh, everything else was uh, eight foot. Bam. Gosh. Nice. Boom. There's the first Grenada fish for the day. A small one but still a lot of fun you moved a long way for it that's right so jojo has a uh, looks like a 10 inch ultra sv unit it's a touch screen i assume yeah, it's touch screen. Screen. yeah and uh he's using the what is that palette is that a blue emerald or it's is the, it it's the blank blue it says blank um, blue. there is a couple more blues you know that you can choose from but that's the blue i use and the reason why is because the sun when the sun gets bright, it's hard to see those other screens. Right. It's black and it flares. Right. This one here, you can see because it, whenever you drop your jig or you see a fish, it's kind of red. You gotcha. Know, it gives you a better part in the sun. It's not. There are people that favor left. There you go. There you go. They're on your net. They're on your Well, you followed them for a while. Yeah. of August. Thick shoulders. Oh, yeah. Not bad fish. He smoked it. Knocked the paint off of it. So we're casting to them. But roughly the fish, are, they're moving around quite a bit. They're pretty. That's a good grenade of fish right there. Yeah. Real yeah. thick. A good summer fish for sure. Anywhere. Anywhere in the country. But we're casting to them basically about 30 feet, 20 to 30 to 40 foot, which takes some talent, no doubt about it. There's a, especially with the wind blowing like it is, which I know it's not big wind, but it's big wind on Grenada. It's there a, you. oh, do you? Yeah. Talk about someone's in it right now. Oh, uh, what, what's it? It's a, it's a little bit farther from the lake. It's over at Calhoun. You got him. 
boat. Small guy. Little one, but good fish anywhere Put else. Up a little fight though, didn't he? He did. These guys are the the smaller fish, man. They'll cut loose on you. That was fun though. First drop with the new bait. This is what I'm fishing with, folks, good right time. here. Yeah, I like it. Little tri-color deal. go oh tank here folks good fish <laughs> there we go. that's big big fish and go here I like it. yeah he ate it knocked the sparks off of it that's man. fun check that out that is a freaking hog dick Good fish. Wow. Cool. So if you ever wonder how you get those fantastic pictures with crappie, this is it folks. I mean this this is a over two pound crappie on Grenada in the summertime and it, it is a freaking monster. Uh, that's what we love about Grenada. Now this is just to go back to his settings. He's got this blue palette. It really makes things pop. You can see the bait there dropping down. Really makes it easy to see. I kind of like the blue palette, especially during the uh, the summer months. So we're fishing with a 10 uh, a 10 inch 120 uh, a 106 SV here and uh, great unit. Uh, can't say enough good things. I like getting used to other pallets. I, of course, am familiar with amber, but this is our view, and this is all we're doing is hitting uh, roaming fish on Grenada Lake. He wanted to get the net, and I said, no, I'll be flipping this guy <laughs> in. I thought it was a lot bigger than that, but that's still a good fish. That's a solid fish. That's a definitely solid. solid fish. Take those all day long. Oh, that's a big mark. Yes, it is. So these guys in Grenada, they get spoiled. They got the best lake in the country. Here we go. Big fish right here. This was a good mark. Oh, oh it's small. It was a good mark. It was a great mark. Yeah, this is a starter fish here. This is probably just a 12 inch, maybe. Maybe. Might go. And that's a big fish anywhere else, right there. Anywhere else. That's still a good fish. Yeah, that fish was what? 40 foot out? It marked well. Yeah, it did. Showed up real good. I think I'm going to keep it like that. I think I will. I like it. There's less going on. Yep. Boom. You got taken. He hit that sucker. Yeah, he, he just out. took it. He took it. I saw that sucker just all of a sudden stood still. Another ho hum fish from Grenada. So when you talk to people about like bait choices on Grenada, I mean obviously it's a really muddy water lake. Yeah. What do you what do you, what are some of the things that um, you in the morning time I like using uh the softer colors, like a, a brown, maybe a pumpkin seed, something like that. Orange works good. Yeah. Um you know if I'm really if I'm having trouble, you know, you can you can switch to that. Uh, smaller uh, jig presentation that we do today. Um, I usually use two inch jigs, but today it's going to be an inch and a quarter. It's just a crop and magnet. Um, they, they're working really good in just an eight ounce jig head. And uh, it's like an eight ounce split shot. It helps get that jig down. But uh, just stuff like that. You just kind of got to figure it out, man. This lake is so tricky sometimes, and it, it will, it'll get you. You think you know crop, but, yeah. And then. 
Uh, come with Grenada and it just beats you. And it beats me all the time. Especially in the springtime, but you, just, you can try those uh, different ways to catch them like that. But are you, what are you, so the color wise, you're looking for a softer palette in the morning and then yep. something a little bit you more can get, aggressive? You can go a little brighter in the afternoon, yeah. Um, once the sun gets up good. Uh, but the morning time, it seems like they're a little bit more spooky for some reason. Um, sometimes, you know, whenever you have trouble, you can switch to a softer color, maybe that'll help you. Um, if you see the fish running from your jig, if you drop it down and you see the fish take off, um, use something like, you know, like a, a smaller jig or a softer color, something not as loud. Uh, that way, I guess they, they kind of get frightened by it. You're saying during this time frame, summer-wise, it's more of a roaming fish like this, yeah, not, not yeah, structured. They're, they're kind of scattered. Uh, they're start, they're starting to school up. They typically they would have been started, but the, I guess the water's so high right now, they're, they're kind of late. But uh, they're starting to school up a little bit, and um, it won't be long in the fall bite to be here, and that's a really good time to fish. But they're scattered right now, so we'll pick up you know one fish, you know, every ten minutes or so. I mean, like so. Sometimes you run across a group of them, and you can pick out a couple of those guys. But um, for the most part, here lately, it's been just you'll catch one fish just in the open, not next to anything or any other fish. Yeah, I always said that Grenada was kind of like the place that you didn't need structure. I mean, it just always it seems like there's a certain level of roamers. Yep. Um, We're gonna end it. That's our first day on Grenada We're with my new buddy Jojo Baker. You gotta check out his guide service. Uh, a lot of fish out here. Unlimited fun, opportunity. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, you hook up with Jojo. I'll put his information in the description. Put his phone number up here on the screen. And uh, if you're interested in coming out here, check it out. Definitely. Love to have you. Folks, we're going to do a podcast and probably another episode here on Grenada. So I really do appreciate Jojo Baker and uh, showing us around Grenada, man. Great time, great boat, great accommodations. The guy's fantastic. Check him out. Have a great one. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.